Welcome to College Park and the University of Maryland. I'm Ben Schneiderman, a professor in computer science. I was trained in an era when Vannevar Bush's 1945 manifesto, Science, the Endless Frontier, had tremendous influence on research work. He believed in the linear model that says basic research comes first, then applied research, then you go to development, and finally, production and operations. It's a simple and clear model, but unfortunately, it's very flawed and rarely works out successfully. My new book offers a fresh vision about how to do research. It's a guide for junior researchers and a manifesto for senior researchers about how to change the research ecosystem. I believe that three things have changed in the context for research. The immense problems of the 21st century are very different from the problems of the 19th or 20th century. The healthcare delivery, sustainable energy, climate change, community safety are complex problems that require a socio-technical solution and teams of researchers. Secondly, the new technologies have changed, and that enables teams of researchers to be more successful. The World Wide Web gives them enormous powers in finding previous work, in collaborating effectively, and in presenting and disseminating their results. Secondly, social media technologies have also made a vast difference. And finally, visual communications techniques are also changing the way research gets done and disseminated. The third major change is that research teams have much greater ambition than in previous years. And at the same time, research funders have much higher expectations. So, to accommodate these changing contexts, I think we need guiding principles that are fundamentally different. And the one I offer is the ABC principle, applied and basic combined. I believe that combining applied and basic research produces more rapid progress in both areas. If you start with a practical problem, take a theoretical approach, develop a potential solution, test it in the living laboratory of the real world, come back and refine your theory, publish the results in academic environments, and disseminate the practical solution. That gives you real power and high impact. The second guiding principle is SED. I believe that blending the scientific method, the engineering prototyping method, and design thinking can produce higher impact research than using only one of these three methods. I believe we should be teaching our students how to do their research using science, engineering, and design methods. Putting these together, that gives us the guiding principles we need. And then the book moves on to the five research life cycle strategies. Choosing actionable problems, working on real problems, then taking traditional research methods of observation and controlled experimentation, and adding real interventions. Next, forming teams with diverse individuals and partnerships with organizations. Moving on to testing ideas and prototypes with realistic interventions. And finally, promoting adoption and assessing impact. Chapter on each tells how to do it. All this means that you get successful solutions and more effective theories. That's how I believe research should be done. The book is again a guide for junior researchers and a manifesto for changing the research ecosystem. It's available from Oxford University Press, Amazon, or your local bookseller. I hope you'll take a look. Thank you.